What's up, guys, and welcome to Ivar's Fly Workshop. Uh, today we will be uh, tying a fly, which is actually a fly by myself, which I uh, tied back in what was it about 2007 or 8. And uh, it is a streamer pattern, which I call the Galtraflugan in Icelandic, but that will be turned out as uh, the magic fly. And we actually never, I and my fishing partner Inge, we never like, or I never found like a name for it, but it uh, we just always called it Kaltrafluan because of the remarkable uh, results of using it sometimes. Uh, as a hook, we are using a NS118 uh, number six, an RX hook, a classic streamer, and I'm using an 8O classic waxed thread from Semperfly for this uh, task. And uh, this is relatively simple fly to tie, as you will see. And you will find the, the pattern in the video's descriptions below. You can also support the channel there. You will find some uh, information on that if you, if you like. And... Uh, it is um, yeah. It is um, important thing to uh, <clears throat> to like like share and subscribe to the video as well. Uh, for the tail of the fly, I'm using a UV pearl flashable. So this is as I said, very simple fly. You can use. Uh, uh, this uh, yeah, I prefer to use uh, the pearl, and um, I tie like a chunk of it down like this, and then I bend it, do a bend on it, so it's gonna stick to the hook completely, and that will be the tail of the fly. And uh, I used to make this fly originally just with a white body, but then I started to make like the fly uh, with. Uh, like blue and green bodies and wrapping a pearl tinsel over that. And that came out very well too. And sometimes adding a hot spot to the middle of it or to the head or something which I did like later on. But for Arctic char, this fly, especially for the zero in Arctic char, this fly has been remarkable, remarkably good. So the tail, we're going to cut it like it's almost the length of the hook shank. It's like two thirds or so. And for the body, um, I'm going to use the original pattern I, I made back in the days. That is a DMC yarn. And the E5200 is the name of it, or the number of it. And you can find the DMC yarn just anywhere in any handicraft store or, or knitting store or, or stuff like that. You will find this yarn there. And it's very useful as an alternative material for fly tying because uh, you get a whole lot of uh, material for a few bucks. And we tie it down like this. And uh, you could technically, yeah, uh, like as, as, as I said, you could technically uh, you place um, and wrap it with a pearl tinsel. But uh, that is not necessary since the, um, this uh, Aurora yarn or the DMC yarn has actually its own uh, pearl shiny texture. Plus it's actually what was uh, surprising to me. That is that the fact that uh, the, um, the DMC yarn, that is actually UV reflecting. You will see that just when we um, do the head of the fly. And then we will just wrap this forward in tight wraps and uh, leave no, preferably no space between. And then we do it like so. Not any further, maybe one more here. And then we lock it in with our thread with a few secure uh, wraps. And uh, this is, as I said, very simple fly. 
and we can cut away now the um, rest of the DMC yarn to use for the next fly. Type in six or eight, the number six or eight. This is like the uh, optimal eight. I use the most, uh, the eight size of eight. And this reminds the fish probably of a little minnow or a bait fish or something. I don't know. At least it works. And it works very well. Actually, you can, it works for trout as well and sea trout. But the best hits I've had on this fly and the best catch is um, in Rensvjörður in, in, in Iceland fishing for the Arctic char there. So for the wing, uh, we'll use the same flashable material as I used for the for the uh, tail of the fly. And this is a very simple pattern, very simple. And often that is like the best thing to keep things as simple as possible. Uh, I cut it, pre-cut it, the, uh, I'll have to pre-cut it, uh, so it's gonna be like even on the front, like this. Let me lock this down with our thread. And this is, as I said, the same material as I use, the same flexible as I use for the tail. And we'll trim it level with the tail of the fly. And some people like to trim tail and wings like this, even. Not many though, not many people <laughs> I know, but uh, the guy who taught me the most in fly tying and fly fishing, uh, he had almost in any pattern he made, he had a cut wing on it, like a straight cut. And I decided to add like a hot spot for it just in the front and that will be using a red globe right for that one. We'll create like a little platform for it. Um, with our thread, and then we start to wrap this forward, and you can see what it does for the fly. It's like uh, this globe right is UV reflective uh, as well, and it gives the fly like a like this look I, I like a lot, and the fish likes likes it a lot too. Kaltrafluga, or the magic fly. Uh, maybe we'll come up with some name on, <laughs> on it one day, but uh, we never called it anything else. So we snip off this end since we had sat down with our uh, thread. And then we will build up like a little hat on the fly. And then coat it with uh, UV varnish. Uh, I'm using a Solaris uh, bone cure varnish for this. And we'll do just a uh, couple of V finishes on it. And uh, even fishing this fly in a lake just throw it out, make two or three drags and let it sink. Just on that drift, I caught fish on it. And uh, I like fly fishing a lot. And uh, this is, uh, as I said, very easy fly to make. It is not too heavy. It's like it has a beat on it to get it down uh, below the water film. You can put more weight on it, but uh, in these waters I'm, I'm fishing in, uh, usually that has not been necessary so far and uh, I've been yeah this uh, pattern has sur surprised me and uh, uh, the idea of the pattern comes from a fly which I got as a bonus fly from from the UK when I bought flies for there from uh, I think it's a selector fly or some something called that, something like that I got a similar fly like that, I threw, threw it out just to try it and I had a hit on it immediately so I decided to, I have to take this idea and work with it and get it some, somewhere further. So we'll fry the, um, fry the uh, UV resin with our torch and remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel and I just want to say to you guys thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.